uh, fans is okay it's continuation of my previous topic my young girl came here and disrupted me she just woke up she want my attention uh, now I was I want to continue with the topic I was talking about men if you know you're in Western world and you are men you are from Africa and you are there and you're married there their constitution doesn't allow you to do some things you're supposed to do as an African man if you know you married a woman from Western world then it's even worse because she manipulates everything you don't have a say you don't own anything even children everything is about the constitution everything is about going to police everything is about going to court everything is about i'll sue you <laughs> there's nothing you will do you raped me and she willingly gave it to you those are the things people go through that side that is a fact there's nothing we are faking here if you know you're in africa it's opposite as a man you have the rights to own everything you own the woman if you have paid the dowry for her you own her she is in your hands she obey your rules she obeys what you say but in the western world is 50 50 she does she does, it's not a it's not a must for her to answer back to you it's not a must for her to stay in the house it's not a must she she she, she can go for a weekend you you can't question her as long as she says she told you i'm going that is it a slight provocation you touch her and she knows she can say anything she can provoke you but if you touch her or you beat her next thing is police and when police comes in if you're an african man first they check your documents they're okay if they're okay then it's fine if you don't have proper documents then you have two cases to answer one for domestic violence the other one for documents being in the country illegally. Those are the things you definitely have to deal with in the Western world. They make you feel down. You feel like you want to go back home, like you never go back there. These are the things men are going through there. Everybody knows. And that woman will tell you, I cannot go to Africa. You're the one who came here. Life is better here. So, I cannot go to your people there to cook with firewood, to cook for the whole clan, for the whole community. And yet, me, I'm a modern woman. This is a, this is a reality which is affecting many African men who have settled with uh, American women and uh, Canadian women and uh, European women. They are going through this problem. And the men in those respective countries, the natives, they are running away from those uh, masculine women coming to Africa to look for grooved women who are more traditional. Forgetting the moment she realizes that she has rights in the Western world, you will not be able to tame that woman anymore. Unless you decide not to take her there, you marry her here and you keep her here in Africa. It will work 100%. But as long as you take her to the United States, definitely that thing will not work. Within 10 years down the line, she will become a screeching creature in that house. She will start telling you, I have rights. I can do this CD for myself. You don't, know, you don't own me. Ah, marriage was just a piece of paper. I can do what, she, what I want. That is exactly what is happening there. Now, the big storm is coming. Population is declining in the Western world. We have got what you call aged population that cannot be able to work. The Western governments are opening borders and loosening migration laws with intentions of allowing more people to come in so that they can populate in the countries again. That one definitely is a strategic point. But African men, take a heed modern women we have them even here in africa those who are living in urban areas and they're educated they're modern women you can go and find her she has her job she has her apartment she has she lives there no kids nothing just a dog and a cat yeah and speaking the way she wants driving 
where she wants to drive and coming back home. Those are the women we are having, even in Africa in the modern world. But if you go to the rurals, there is better you can find the refined material that can build a home. Something that if you come home, you'll find kids are clean, food is cooked, everything is on the table. Not a screeching creature. Hey, you can go to the kitchen and cook. Today is me who cooked. Tomorrow is you. You continue arguing. Hey, I paid this bill. You two should pay this bill. You know, <laughs> I always find it very interesting to come on board and discuss this thing because we are being affected. And now a man will feel comfortable where he is respected. Not where he is not respect, disrespected. And these cre screeching creatures, they have a tendency of any slightest provocation, police. That, that's what is happening, even in a, in a place like South Africa. It's the same thing. It has a European standards and lifestyle. The only country in Africa with the highest number of single mothers. Yes, you go, you ask somebody, why are you not married? Or why is your wife? Oh, don't tell me about a woman. You dig deeper, he tells you, those women, what they have taught us, they have taught us children, they belong to states. And your salary, I have part of it. Beat me, I take you to jail. Touch me when I don't want, I fight a rape case. My friend, you will never get out of that system. You will be looked down completely. You will feel like you, you don't deserve to be there anymore. Because the law is on their side. It protects them and gives them masculinity. Feminism. That's who they are. No more traditional women you can find. Apart from the deeper part of the village. Whereby you will find a homestead. It has both parents. Or a window or window. That's legit. The father was there, he died, the mother is there. A homestead. The children they grew up, they went to school, they departed home because they got jobs. Such a homestead, you can find a woman who can build a home. Because she grew up with both parents in a homestead. So she knows. If she gets out of the way through influence and lifestyle, whatever she is, is simply because she wants to, not because she was not taught. She was taught and she was told, this is the way we do our things. Period. In such a homestead, you will get a wife. Someone who will stay in the house, will not have friends coming in and out of the house, you will have somebody somebody with good energy. Somebody who can build your home. Somebody who will give you children that will not be disobedient. And that is what every single man is looking for. It's very rare for such a woman from such a homestead. Maybe the mother is a retired teacher, the father is a retired priest. Those homestead in rurals, it's very difficult to find a woman who is not properly raised. They don't have children out of wedlock. They are, you know, they're just waiting for the right man. Because they were taught, don't do this, don't do that. So it's a high time. You know that woman will not, in fact, even go online now and then, talking to men, discussing funny things there. You know, she's not that kind of a person. No, she's not. She's not. She's a better person who can build a home for you and make everything look smart regardless of where and how. These things, I discuss here because I know we are suffering and we have issues that we need to sort them out. And the only way we can sort these things out is to speak them out. So when I say you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that subscription button, it's simply because you don't know what I'll put forward tomorrow. I might come up with something.
tomorrow that will change you or transform you or me. I learned from you. It, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a two-way traffic. So men wake up and know where to find a woman. Not everywhere you can go and find a woman. Modernized women, they are creatures. They are creatures. They will, you know, they will not in any way change your life or transform your life. They will always give you negativity. They will always show you they can do it without you. And that is what we are running away from. We need to understand what we should do and what we should not do. Have a great day.